I turned to face Randy. Wow, he looked miserable before. Russell stood next to him, face contorted in a worrying blend of rage and disbelief. What the hell? I, are they having a fight? I forgot his voice. How did I do his voice again? You did it right. with Squeaky. Yeah, I hope that's a good news phrase, Russell. Colin wandered back over from the opposite side of the road, his arms crossed in expectation of a worst case scenario. He's touching his own. Okay. So what's the scoop? <laughs> what's the scoop? <laughs> He's lacking. The scoop is dead. There's a, there's a bear in front of us. Russell shook his head. He was trying to knock out the lamp there. Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, there's a big hole burned clear through the side of the battery. Like, it goes all the way straight through it. And it's this big around. What? When he made an oval shaped gesture with his thumb and middle finger. Given the size of his hands, that was indeed a shocky hole. Dude! That is big. Yeah, it's big and round. But Katrin has big hands and fingers, so wow. True. Say, I've never seen anything like it. The car isn't going anywhere tonight. So, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna camp in the forest? Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Wow! Colin! Wow! Wow! Oh my goodness. What's the matter, Colin? I thought you liked sleeping in the van. I don't want to sleep in the other van. God damn it. Okay, I thought you saw this one. Let No. I like sleeping alone. And don't push a laugh, Jack I'm, I'm not touching a penis. In your sleep. Okay. Danny stumped her foot down and snapped her fingers at the hostile pair. Damn! 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 They're so happy. What the fuck? <laughs> Is it done? <laughs> it's fine. I wasn't expecting any better anyway. We have started discussing our options. Do we have any chance of like walking to the nearest town? I wish I had like a bus or something around here. Face the forest and it. Russell ran his hands up over his face and threw his hair in exhaustion. Not a chance. It'd be at least 20 miles. How far is 20 miles? Damn it! I don't know. I'm horrible. We need to be ready for the possibility that we're staying the night out here. Man, I, I don't know how we're gonna do that. I really, really don't. We're gonna use Colin as a bait. They put him outside so You're the lions can eat him. We sleep in the van, pee in the woods. What about through the water? What if help us still has to come by morning and we have to deal with a sun full blast? Deal with it, Danny. God damn it. I know. A blah 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 blah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no win situation. What if something does show up and it wants us to ransack the van? Black bears, remember? Black. Bears. You can always use Collie as a bait! But he's too small for it. Maybe Randy will be tasty enough. Uh, Give me a minute to think, okay? We do have some options in front of us here. We just have to be smart and we have to be safe. We have Collie who's apparently smarter than us. Does anyone want to at least try and look around for help while we figure this out instead of standing here with our thumbs out our asses? <laughs> that's, that's not deep enough, to be honest. Don't ask me why I know that. How do you know that? <laughs> oh my god. It's bad. It's best left unsaid. Yeah, I need the squeaky squeak for you, you squeaky squeak for a while? Oh my butt, it hurts. It hurts. Oh. You okay? Nope. No. Okay. No. Okay, good. <laughs> no going into the woods alone. You're losing daylight by the second, and you can get lost in these trees in a heartbeat. Well, we should send someone down the road then. Let's be proactive in our fatality, people. I mean, I just the wrong tone I use. I just realized it's not. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, at least. I'm so sorry. What was that? 
Oh, I thought he punched Colin. Yeah, I Russell slammed run. his fist into the side of the van. Colin jumped and for a fleeting second almost cowered next to Russell. Ooh. Really? You want you, someone scary and you hide behind? Yeah, I know, right? The guy shut up, scary. Colin. Yeah, shut up, Colin! <laughs> Both you and your sister. Just shut up for a second. What did his sister do? She whines, I think. Her whining was not that bad. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll still be like, can you just... I don't know, I, I guess for me also I'll be like... No. Yes. <laughs> you got damn rich kids. Should I stay home if all you plan to do is freak out every time there's a bump in the road? Yeah, I guess, I guess. What is mad about? Hey, I, I wasn't freaking out, I was just... Colin was cut up again this time. <laughs> <laughs> Russell's finger straight to his turn off. I just want to fuck! <laughs> and you felt my boob again. <laughs> Jimmy, really? We are, we are too close. Not to you why. <laughs> Stop trying to poke me or whatever. You keep touching my boobs. Okay, I'll touch my legs instead. Okay. Yes, you will. You're not helping the situation. Everyone here has a head out with you and shit. I don't hear another word from you. I, 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 I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't want to hear another word out of you until you have this all figured out. But Colin did have an interesting point though. Why didn't like, somebody go... I, mind. I mean, 20... Russell punctuated his words with further pokes to Colin's chest. Eee! Enough to make him stumble back on the road. Bully! I don't like him. Yeah, I don't like I don't him. I don't like him. Daniel looked back and forth between the two boys, sinking her nails into her denim sleeves and biting her lip. Why don't you have your brother? I'm taking charge of this situation right now. Not you. Not your sister. I am. Because I want to get us through this day without any more stupid arguments. Is that understood? Nobody who said that you're in charge, you piece of shit. Is it those Who died girl? and made you Is... king? Yeah, who died and made you Colin king? Colin clashed gently at his, at his shirt close to his chest, rubbing his thumb over the spot where Russell had shoved him. Oh my god, I guess he's singing. I don't like this dude. I don't yeah. Russell took a deep breath, pressing his fingers to the bridge of his nose. Everyone just traded awkward looks. But then I guess cause he like he has his reason to be like he's like freaking out as well and uh, everyone else freaking out. But yeah. also freak out like it's not helping the situation. Okay. Now you want to send someone up the rope, just in case. That's why you want to up. That's what you wanna do. Russell was trying to calm down but he was overcompensating. His tone just like <laughs> So yeah, first to pause again. Colin just kept his head down, unwilling to answer. After a few seconds passed, he gave a hesitant nod, but no more. Wow, he's scared now. It was weird to see him acting this way. He wasn't intimidated by Randy, his sister, or me. Something about Russell. Apparently, okay. there's tape on the floor. Oh, oh I, I taped the wire. Yeah. Alright. Anyone want to walk down the road a piece and see if anything's ahead while the rest of us talk about options? I don't think I've ever felt this stressed out in my life. I guess no. that means the best thing to do is... Obviously, you have a gut party. Don't vol stay with I want to volunteer because no. no. I'm the main character. You want to volunteer? You've been fainting every... You've been collapsing every now and then and having bad dreams and you had heat stroke. Okay. Heat stroke in quotation marks. Heat stroke with colours. For health sake, stay with the group. <laughs> okay, fine. There you go. No, going down the road would be stupid. My head was all scrambled right now. And if I had another one of these weird attacks while walking alone, it would be a disaster. See? Fine. I'll go. Oh. I suspect that I'm friendly. Okay. Head out about a quarter mile, then come back. That would be perfect, but road signs are good to find too. It'd be great if not all the trees in the general. Whatever you can find. You got it, big boss. We died and made you king. Randy gave Russell's shoulder a reassuring shake before taking off. <laughs> Russell forced an exhausted smile. This definitely wasn't how he wanted to end a full day of mountain driving. Yeah, yeah he even got ready for hiking boats. Then Randy broke into a jog and disappeared down the road. And then he died. <laughs> okay, by the way I see it, we can either stay in the car or... I guess, look for help? That's why Randy was... You mean Colin? You mean Colin? <laughs> Colin? No, that's why when Randy went. Yeah, maybe Colin suggested it. Yeah. And then Randy went. <laughs> Russell. Well, if you can look for help, we definitely should, right? Of course you should. You don't want to die in the middle of the road, right? It's like the first 10 minutes of Supernatural. 
<laughs> yeah, but we had to search as a group. We had no, to search as a group. No, because Tanjimilis was in the house. Yeah, uh, 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 being outside counts as well, okay? God damn it. This had to be in the house. That leaves the van undefended. The van is, is busted anyway. I know Danny was worried about that, so... Because they have all their bags in the car. Right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Wow, wow, wow. As a group? Why? Why? It's a whole bunch of us together. I just noticed the boat. It's like... Hey! Oh, wow. That was a really obvious... That's very thin tank top. Yeah, exactly. I just noticed. I'm bothered. It makes way more... It makes way more sense to split up. We should work smarter, not harder. Especially considering we're all out of water and snacks. I want to punch Danny right now. This is exactly what you usually see in a horror movie. We should split up in a hard dimension. Well, they're not dimension. Just yet. to be ambitious. And then you're there in the woods, but you're still dangerous. Uh uh. We're in the woods, remember? We're so far into the mountains. We haven't seen a single car pass by in this past hour. See, Russell has a point. So? So that completely changes the situation. Uh, you just sent Randy down the road all by himself, so you've already split the group up. Quit being a dingus about it. I'm actually with her. They could split up two two what each. Yeah, thing. yeah, I, oh yeah, it's really true. Two two, then one guy stay in the car. No, Randy's staying on the road, and Will will be shouting distance. I didn't like doing it that either, by the way. That was your brother's idea. <laughs> Colin oh, scratched so... to the back of his head and started tapping his foot nervously. It looked like he had something heavy on his mind all of a sudden. Oh my god, so what's your idea, Janius? Oh, because he's not allowed to say a single word. He's so sad. <laughs> oh my god. What? What are you talking about? Sending some people in the woods and leave the, eh? leaving the rest with the van. That's not good. Well, I don't know who done it made you grand high pooba of good at bad, but I think... Exactly. Yes, Danny. Exactly. Daddy, I'm sorry. But I do not care about what you think right now. I was an eager scout, okay? I know the situation. Wow, he's so bossy. So irritating. You just let me talk for a second. I could explain why. Daniel did not like being told to shut up. Even if the word shut up were in use, it turned her expression downright murderous. Mm. K. Spell. Group A goes out in search for help, while Group B stays with the band, correct? Yeah. If you were worried about the van getting ransacked, it's better for no one to be in it than just a couple of people. Our stuff can be replaced, but our people can't. You know, if Group B is the three, what? Three least, three, three hiking ready people. That's you, Don, and Colin. I don't know if a bear or a psychopath showing out here when our three strongest people are away. <laughs> to be honest, that's not even my biggest concern. I think you guys could be okay in a van for one night. Gube is way more in danger in this scenario. I have a compass, but that's about it. We're not equipped for searching the, 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 the woods at all. <laughs> Walking the mile- what? Walking the road for miles and miles is pointless. If you run across a car, we would have seen it staying by the van anyway, and they'd be more likely to stop there. So hey, why is there a van here? It's got red sex some stuff anyway. So we're proposing three people such unfamiliar wilderness without the proper equipment. If you don't get horribly lost, you probably just get lost in that day. It takes forever to get back here. If you take forever to come back to the van, also hide that group B will go looking for us. Well, they're looking for us. What do you think will happen then? So they don't mind reading through that as usual. It's okay. <laughs> so, mm. Danny is angry. Both groups will be lost as screwed. It's not my first rodeo on this one. People will panic and make dumb mistakes in times like these. Even me. Sorry, that's that's how it is. We can't speed up here. I don't guess you pack any walkie talkies for the trip. Right. No. Don't you have cell phones? You won't work anyway, <laughs> actually. No, no. Yeah. Alright. Well, if you pack some walkie talkies, it might be different, but even then. Oh my god, he finally spoke up. What's up, Colin? You pack walkie talkies? Colin's eyes narrowed and he took a deep breath. <laughs> Sorry. He said he took, he took a deep breath. So I was like, oh my god, why? Yes, 
said, I need, a, <laughs> I need permission to speak, right? So, permission to speak? Uh... Russell probably felt Colin was mocking him, but I wasn't so sure. He is. Despite the smile on his face, he seemed oddly serious. I definitely remembered how wounded he looked when Russell was yelling at him. But I had no idea what he was really thinking. This was Colin, after all. Yeah, go ahead, dude. You don't need my permission to talk. It's cool. I didn't pack walkie-talkies now. The siren going on. But I do know where we can find help. We kind of <laughs> we kind of was up high. It could be close as two miles from this very spot. How does he know? How does he know? Ow. What? <laughs> <laughs> really? What? In response, Kali trotted to the passenger side of the door of the van, tugged it open, and began rifling through the glove box. He returned with a warped and dog-eared atlas of maps, scanning and flipping pages with incredible speed until he found the one he was looking for. How did he know they were where they were? It seemed to me know the woods. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know actually. This is one big... This is one big ugly maybe. There's nothing labeled for you on our road trip, but... A rope, rope, rope man. Rope, rope man. But I'm sure why I saw in the brochure last night. Come on, man, we're losing daylight fast. What's up? I saw it last night in this little map in one of the 20 billion brushes that he has stopped up for planning the road trip. While the forest here is on off as a private property. At least it was. Whatever the hell that brochure was printed. It looked at least 30 years old. <sighs> Haunted man. The only point of reference I have is our present distance from Mount Venom. But doing the math backwards, blah, 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 backwards from there, where we've been two mile radius of whatever this developed region might be. What's happening? <laughs> Bitch it! Alright, Coco, let's go! Let's find this place! Yeah. I know you trust me, big sister. Eh, it's not that simple. See? There's no access road, it's the letter listed on our <laughs> See? There's no access road listed on our Alice map. There's not anything really. Just more woods. Of course, the atlas is more recent, but it's also less specific. So it could be some private orchard, hunting lodge, or just land that was planned for development but never completed. Whatever it is, the odds is that this plot is occupied by people now. I mean, diddy. I mean, diddly. I still think it's worth checking out, of course, but don't get a hold up for air conditioning. It's really that close to where we are? Two miles east. East, east. East! <laughs> two, two miles east. Straight out of the incline back there. The northern tip of the Virginia is shaped weird, so I definitely I definitely remember the location. It was it was a lot of land too, like several acres quartered off. They had to twist the back ends of the hiking trails away from it in the bottom map. Lord god damn it. <laughs> What? Okay, okay, okay. But well, that's good enough for me. As long as Randy gets back, we all make for this mystery spot. Wow, I said that. That's like not, not, not suspicious at all. What? What was that just now? I don't know. No. He only said. So far, he's just. He's just ah. Oh, he said no. Oh, he said. Jay's voice made me jump. I totally forgot, and he was even there. I know. Look at his angry face. Yeah. I'm sorry, but no. He can't do that. He need to stay in the van. He knows something. He knows something. He knows something. Mm -hmm. Huh? What is it? I'm back! Nothing but trees in that direction. Lame. Oh my god. So, what do we figure out? There's a hunter mansion on our way. Well, we had a plan, but I think Jay just be What? Vetoed. Vetoed it. That's the first time I've seen his word. Vetoed, it's kind of like when everybody votes, uh, agrees and votes on something, but then someone says no, and then instantly, bomb, uh, it doesn't go through. Oh, Even I though it's a majority vote, one person says no, it goes through. But just because one person, like, disagrees. Yeah, it's like, oh, no, cannot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Usually, it's like the powerhouse or like the leader or whoever gets to veto the decision. It's like everyone agrees it's, in the... Yeah, it's like a board meeting. Everyone says, yeah, let's do this, let's do this. And, and the, the boss like, no. Yeah, the president is like, no. Yeah, that okay. instant... That's depressing. It is depressing. Now I learn a new word. 
Danny filled Randy in on the past few minutes while Jay tried to explain himself to Russell. I had to stand pretty close to even listen in. Jay's voice. Uh, oh my oh. god. She's probably just above a whisper as if speaking to Russell. Uh, with some great effort. Oh my god, I shouldn't have drank coke so fast. Yeah, say. Do you want me to read for you first? And I was like, Russell probably wasn't helping. He was trying to look attentive, but he was overdoing it. Jay looked like a minimum wage grunt nervously asking his <laughs> boss for a raise. Oh my god. How bad LZ has only been a commission for an hour. But he was a bad boy for a while, but he's getting much cooler. He shan't go down. He stayed that way, but my brother is a major historic inside. And the class is like my daughter. <laughs> Plenty of people should be heading there this time of the year. Eventually, I cried to pass by in this world. I'd probably be born in the day to morning. I understand that everyone is beginning to panic, but this isn't nearly as bad as it could be. Sounds like you see something. We should really be patient and stay in the van. Call his idea in the hurry. He's not wise. Help a cat. I'm sure of <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> he's like, he's so sorry. He don't speak much. So I forget. The more he speaks, he'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Russell sighed and shook his head. <gasps> I don't care if you be Tony. Jay, I appreciate that you're trying to be logical about this and everything, but right now, he's as much about keeping Morella as he is to finding help. He's only two miles away. It's no big deal to track up there and back within the next hour. We have food and water, and what's got necessary is to have a good community and a good role model, not left it. Speak up, woman. Okay, sorry. Unnecessary? So you just posted it, there's nothing up there. How do you know? Have you been there? <laughs> no. Jay's sideway really glance seemed to imply the opposite, actually. He wasn't unsure. He was scared. He was scared because he knew. Jay? Are you hiding something from me? I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I shivered. <laughs> We're all in this together, okay? If there's something we need to know, you should tell me now. And I look bloody happy right now, man. And I can't tell whether I want to kill you again. Okay. No. Finish not true. I'm under no obligation to tell you anything. Else. I, 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 don't, I don't think. So much like. Look at that. Oh, it's it's like... <laughs> Russell did not like what he had just heard. Jay's next couple words caught clumsily in his throat and his body remained as erect as he had always been. I'm gay. Shock! I felt really bad for him when he'd just been talking earlier. I always wondered if Jay was some kind of super polite robot. The way he spoke was so stiff and cold. You got, you got probably dead. But here in this little awkward moment, I felt like I understood him much better. That's good to know. Maybe Jay was one of those guys who had emotions as real as anyone else, but they just didn't make it all the way to the surface of his skin where people could see! <laughs> the wrong yeah. is horrible. <laughs> True. Oh my god, I'm starting to like Jay now. In this case, I heard only the tiniest strains of fear and remorse in his throat. Just in that interrupted, I don't think, under his motionless body and placid face. What was going on inside Jay's head? Inside his heart, he's like the star. I'll tell you what's going on in his heart. Blood yeah. go pumping. Yeah. <laughs> of course, Wait. I knew it. it was too well. I knew all too well what was going on with Russell. He was completely failing to hide his anger from this curly-haired stranger who just threw Russell's heartfelt concern back in his face. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. What did he say again? I don't remember. We were chatting for so long. <laughs> uh... In all honesty, I just don't have anything to tell you. And if you're strong enough, you should stay in the bag. Yeah, well, I'm feeling some stuff pretty strongly too right now. If you want to talk about whatever the hell it is you've got going on, you let me know. That's what oh, he said right, I remember. Uh, Russell was like, What's worrying you? Tell me! And then uh, Jay was like, Ah, uh, no. <laughs> so now he's like upset, like, Oh my god. Fine, so he said he took fine. personal like offense. Anyway. Oh my god. I understand. He's kind of cute though. There was an uneasy pause. Ah. Okay guys, we're putting this to a vote. I thought you said that was so loud. Oh my god. Oh yeah, sorry. Huh? 
sun's going down, we don't have time to toss this around any longer. So let's take a walk and come, commit to something or something. Don, if we're both sides about this, what do you think? Do we stay in the van or do we search the woods? We don't even need voting, we just need one of my girlfriend to decide this for us. <laughs> okay. Uh, I vote that we make out in the van. I stay with the van. Well, I stay with the van, but you know we're going to the woods anyway, right? Yeah, we're still going to the woods either but way. But we'll, if it's our decision, what do you think? Do you want to side with Jay or do you want to side with Russell? I, Jay. I quite Russell. like Jay. I like Jay. I don't I'm like Russell. Russell's biased. a shit. Yeah, he, he's a bit of a shit. <gasps> he's a bully. Do you need tissue? No, it's a okay, campfire. No. He's a jock. <laughs> I I already generalized everything. I'm so oh my god, that's so stereotyping. Yeah. I vote we stay with the man. In the end, everything is stereotyping somewhere. We're so anti Russell, we haven't agreed with him. Yeah, hey, we haven't agreed with him so far, true. We only ha- we tried to help him with the van, but that's it. Yeah, it's like no. Help will come eventually. I don't wanna leave everything behind when we're not sure. Yeah. I'm supposed to stay in the van. You know my reason. I thought we searched the woods. Daniel? I'm tired of run! Oh my god! Oh. I think I was being too loud. Let's get up that hill! I'm sick of wasting time doing it! Same here. We can at least bother and see what's out there. Oh shit, I think, I think we're gonna be outwalted already. Yep, yeah, we are. Yeah. Randy shrugged. <laughs> he shrugged. He just said, Meh. I'm gonna vote with Russell. Woods sounds fine. God damn it. There's four in favor of the woods and two in favor of the fans. That's what does that. Oh, so either way, it's a lose-lose mm-hmm. situation. Yeah, but at least we sided mm. with him so that he's not alone. <gasps> that means we can't could we date him. Oh my god. <laughs> I Russell clapped that. his hands sharply and rubbed them together, eager to usher some enthusiasm back into the group. Oh yeah, I'll show you the website uh, that they updated about who 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 they cast as the to voice each uh, of the characters. Okay. It's like, hmm. Get ready to move up. I have my compass, so I'll lead the way. We should also take every flash that we got on hand with us. Just in case, you know, horror shit happen. Some supernatural shit. I have one in my backpack. Ba- backpack. Backpack. Let me just... Russell piled the back window of the van open and yanked his backpack out. The mother the pile of luggage. Uh, I promise the promise of a short Bless hike. Bless you. <laughs> given him his second wind. <laughs> <laughs> I got my own flashlight. On his DS. Yeah. I will use my DS as well. Awesome. I know there's one more in the door. I step to uh, what? You want to step to and grab that one? I turned to face G and real and staring at me. You sided it with me. I think I'm gonna fall in love with you now. <laughs> oh my God, no! That's like the most. <laughs> oh, he's so used. He's so he commonly. Blushing. <gasps> he's blushing. I don't know if Russell was calling him out on that or it was just a coincidence. Either way, Jay seemed embarrassed. It's gonna make Russell uh jealous. He's so he's kind of cute when he. Mm. I can drop my nuts now. Right. He retrieved the flashlight and brought it back to Russell. No man, you won't do it. That was yours. Jay nodded and drifted back over to Randy. He's so cute. You want this? Sure, you don't? No. <laughs> Okie dokie. Thanks, dude. Okay, okay sh- well, if it lags, then it lags. <laughs> well, if it does everything, then you? How are you doing? What the heck was she doing? Danny teetered on the bumper of the van, leaning over through the back window to bump furiously through the luggage. <laughs> I'm caught solid for the way up. I don't know about you guys, but I'm counting on finding shelter up there. I don't care if it's just a poor potty. <sighs> She's kind of shit. Okay, I do care. Don't hold me to that. For real. Ew. Excuse me. But it's only two miles. Uh, so like two miles up a hill in heels and two miles back down if we find a place. And I have to go back for my essentials. And then two miles to go back up again. If we found a place. If they're even still there because bears are more right right? Who need to take anything with you? If you don't want to hide, just pull some heel free shoes on your bag and swap it out. Ah, easier said than What? Done. Two miles through the brush and that's not even, that's even worse. What you want? What do you want? But then heels. I think I would prefer sandals over heels. But at least heels, like if you found leeches or some some animals on the ground, you can just stab it. Yeah. And also open toed you can get bugs and bite you. Yeah, I suppose so. And mud. You. Oh, mud is the worst. 
Uh, well, hey, that's what Colin's doing. You want to swap your shoes out, Colin? No, I like my sad days. Go away. You don't have any sensible shoes? You got a problem with that? My shoes are killer. Don't be talking shit about my shoes. Yeah, bro. You don't talk shit about someone's shoes, you know, especially ladies. This is going to be a week long trip. I, I don't understand. I don't know. Uh, guys? There's a bear in front of us. I'm waiting for that right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't going to be a week in the mountains, was it? I brought town shoes and beach shoes. Why the hell would I need to be need bunk ass hiking boots in Florida? Florida is hot, I heard. Okay. <laughs> Guys, where's Colin? I'm right below you. But we haven't even gone to the house yet. You can't go disappear with no asses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Could we be the first to die? I'll be so sad. Like, he, he, he may be an asshole, but I feel this kinship with him. <laughs> Take my